Hello, peepers. Hey, this uh, continuing uh, new player tips. I want to just uh, touch base today on info hubs. Info hubs, in short, are, well, information hubs, places that are sources of valuable information, especially for new players. First of all, let me show you something here. If you right click on your map, click on world map, this is how you locate an info hub. Obviously, info hub is marked a blue circle with an exclamation point inside of that circle. I'll zoom in where I'm at right here and you can see that right here. So this is an info hub. Okay, really simple to figure out. But now as you walk around, you know, you will come across interactive signs that give you information, various sorts of information. I want to show you too. These signs will have links. You can click on those links button and get more information. Come around the side, they give you other destinations you can go to. Once again, you can uh, choose either the links button or the landmark note card button. Now, one important thing here, if you are given a landmark, all you have to do is go to your places tab on your user interface places tab is easily located because there's a globe on there click on that and you will see well different menu options here all you have to do is select landmarks if you accept a landmark or save a landmark you will find it on your list and of course all you have to do is click on that landmark and it'll give you the teleport option to that particular place. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit more on this particular info hub. You'll also find info hubs scattered across all the various land regions of Second Life. And I do know that some of these info hubs you can actually set as your home location. And of course your home location tab has a little house inside the button and of course you can only set one home location but think of it kind of as a quick escape if you need that okay and of course you can see here we got more options for new players things to check out you know places to go more information pretty much the same stuff that we already seen And of course, you know, they have things where they do try to promote you spending real money. They get Linden dollars. And 10, 10 US dollars isn't really too bad for 2500 I know that I've paid over $11 for over 2500 but that's on the Linden Exchange. So just something to keep in mind. You know, you can find different things. Lots of different people at these info hubs. You know, you can make friends and all sorts of stuff there. Anyways, let's uh, give you an example here. I'm going to sc scroll through the map, see if we can find another info hub somewhere, and go check it out. I know there's a lot of different uh, symbols on the maps, and we will cover those in more detail on another video. But this is pretty much the info hub for this area right here. I'll let that map load up. Yeah. See, there we go. See that? Yeah, and you'll also find, too, on your uh, maps. Let me show you something really quick, too. On, a, you know, kind of a really cool thing, too. How you can instantly get to a location on a map, okay? instantly get to a location on a map scroll up find the location left click on it and then come over here your menu options 
and then simply click teleport. I will show up that area that I selected on the map. And there I am. Just that quick. Back to roll map. See, now I'm over here. So, pretty easy. You can get around that way. And of course, if you want to save those locations on the map, all you got to do is come up to your uh, white bar up here that shows you where you are at. Shows you the rating of the land, which we will also have a video about land ratings and what that represents for you. It's really important to know. And you want to add this to your landmarks. Come clear to the right hand side. Click on add to landmarks. It brings this area up and then you just click right here. Create landmarks. See? Now I've got the landmark in my inventory. Or under my uh, places tab rather. So that's all there is to it. You know, just do it a few times, practice. Pretty easy to do. Other than that, you just got to get out there and explore. And the good thing is you can use those info hubs as ways to get around different regions. You know, something that you feel comfortable with. Then all you got to do is just uh, go out and explore from each info hub and see what's going on. You know? content creators everywhere houses you'll find stuff also that's uh wind and property you know so it's protected it's safe for you to be but just food for thought so hope the video helps you all out if you have any questions leave uh those in the comments down below and i'll do my best to answer them peace out guys